It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams are intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here in the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by Stuart Robson. It's Paris Saint-Germain facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, you just wonder what those players are thinking right now. Some will be nervous, some will be excited, and some may be anxious. But once that whistle blows, we're going to be in for an absolute classic here. Here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Sergio Ramos in central defence. Neymar starts alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Lionel Messi. This is what we think for Barcelona. Marc Andre Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Frankie de Jong plays with Sergio Busquets in central midfield. And the starting role and attack today is handed to Robert Lewandowski. This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway. Who will be crowned club kings of Europe? Messi. Promising avenue of attack favoured by Messi. Veering in field here, but they dealt with the threat posed. Messi. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. So a corner here. Who can he pick out? And a relatively high degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Well, sometimes players are overhyped, but I don't think we can use that word in connection with Lionel Messi. Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Not much time to make up his mind. The supporters want to see him have a go timely intervention and he could be in proper trouble here and good pressure high up the pitch Frankie de Jong getting forward but they took care of the situation defensively And that puts them in position. Well, I must say, it did look so promising, but the flag is raised offside the verdict, Stuart. Well, he's just too eager there. It's the right run, but he's made it too early. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And he's broken free. Can he find the net? Good work to deny the opportunity. Well, no danger now. Really good challenge. Mbappe. Oh, 
Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Verratti in the thick of the action. So Stegen was always going to make that save. And given away. Mbappe. And Messi in full control of the ball here. Putting his body on the line. Oh, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. And they scored! First goal in this season's UEFA Champions League final. And so, back playing again. PSG with the lead. Lewandowski, very quick thinking there. And half-time coming up with PSG on top. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance to this point? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo... Oh, they could finish here, Stuart! Oh, and off the bar! And foiled only by the crossbar! A very good tackle. Mbappe spot on with that tackle well not giving him any breathing room we're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back corner given to PSG Fired over by Messi, and the keeper more than equal to it. The first half here comes to an end. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Mbappe. Oh, did so well to deny him. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. He's driven in the corner. In the corner, too close to the goalkeeper that time. Sergio Busquets and a timely intervention Messi well the supporters think it's on well he really wants his brace well he looks so bright today his movement has been excellent and he's fired over the corner well it still could be dangerous and in the end no damage done Not to be advised, giving the ball away in that position. Throw in here for PSG. And that, Lionel Messi in the middle. And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they be stopped now? Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Back underway with the scoreline standing at 2 0. And he takes it away. Attacking possibilities for PSG. Firing it in. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. 
He's in control of the situation. Clean challenge. Pedri. Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Plenty of support here. Could pull one back here. Well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. That's a tame finish. Lewandowski. Determined defending. Well, those stats... Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. It's been played over the top to Neymar. Sergio Busquets under pressure. And making high press. Kylian Mbappe. And that's the hat-trick. Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. So back with the action. And PSG handing out a very harsh lesson here. Speculative of effort here. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Oh, fine play, and maybe it'll set something up. It's Neymar! And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Well, five minutes remaining. But you just feel this is over already. Unable to keep the ball. And intercepts again. Christensen. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. Oh, couldn't quite find his teammate. Full time! Parisian pride shines through! PSG have cleared the final hurdle in the Champions League. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Paris Saint-Germain. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night.
Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are...